Now we need some kind of plane destroyer in our game. In this lecture, I am going to draw a cannon or tank on canvas. I will also show you how to make the game full screen. We know that to avoid draining the battery, an Android device that is left idle quickly falls asleep. But certain apps such as games need to keep the screen turned on. I will show you how to implement that as well. Let's start. Open Android Studio. Go to gameview.java and create a bitmap object for the tank. Comma, tank. Next, I am going to move the tank image in drawable folder. Instantiate in constructor. Tank equals to bitmap factory dot decode resource get resources comma r dot drawable dot tank we are going to place the tank at the bottom center. To do that, we need to know the tank width and tank height. So declare in class level. Int tank width, comma tank height, and initialize in constructor tank width equals to tank dot get width tank height equals to tank dot get height now draw the tank bitmap on canvas canvas dot draw bitmap tank comma open close parenthesis t width by 2 minus tank width by 2 comma t height minus tank height comma null Since we want to draw the tank exactly at the center bottom position, the x coordinate of the tank will be half of the screen width minus half of tank width and y coordinate will be screen height minus tank height. Run the app to see the output. As you can see, we have a problem here. The tank image got cut off at the bottom. The reason is we have positioned the tank based on the variable d height that is screen height but the canvas height is some amount less than the screen height. This amount is the height of the notification bar. So it pushed the tank that much amount towards the bottom. One solution to this problem is to make our game full screen. At this point I will give you three challenges. First make the entire application full screen. Second set the activities to be portrait only. Third, keep the screen turned on. You can pause the video now. Good luck. Welcome back. Hope you solve all three problems. My solution for the challenge 1 and 3 is to add these three lines in startgame.java. So go to start game and write inside on create after super call. This dot request window feature. window dot feature underscore no underscore title this dot get window dot set flags window manager 
dot layout params dot flag underscore full screen comma window manager dot layout params dot flag underscore full screen this dot get window dot add flags window manager dot layout params dot flag underscore keep underscore screen underscore on for challenge 2 go to android manifest and add these two lines inside the open activity tag for start game android colon config changes orientation pipe keyboard hidden next line android colon screen orientation portrait also copy and paste these two lines inside the open activity tag for main activity press ctrl alt l to format the code run the app great now the tank has been placed in right position prevented from going to sleep and if you try to rotate the orientation you will see that it always stays in portrait mode so to recap you learned how to make your game full screen set the activities to be portrait only and how to keep the screen on next i will show you how you can detect touch event get x y coordinates of the pointer and identify whether the tank is actually touched see you in the next lecture